Hello everyone! Welcome to this video, I am Yoshinard and today I'm gonna teach you everything about glue. This will be the final guide on theory, use cases and also extra tips. Remember that I also have other learning resources such as the playlist that this video will be in, how to live to the full of free videos, as well as my courses that I have on my coffee page. These are go more in detail and they have a free practice model in them. And small mention to my Twitch channel if you want to follow and watch my streams. I am live from Monday to Thursday at 2 p.m. Central Europe time. I usually work on art or models and also play games. So if I had to tell you what glue is, I could tell you that when you glue something you take a group of vertices that two objects share and you stick them together. The reason we use this tool is so that we can create wide movements but still have our two objects attached to each other. For example in uh, upper arm to lower arm or upper leg to lower leg, although there can also be other uses for glue that we will see in a moment. I will really quickly show you how to technically start to create your glue and also how to use the glue related tools. So let's say that I have these two little squares here that I want to glue, for example, I will put them one on the side of the other. First of all, I need to select both of them, so hold shift and click both and then go to the mesh edit. Now, as I told you, we need to have the two um, objects, a group of shared vertices. In this case, they don't really, if I click anywhere. I can select them separately, as you can see it doesn't share any vertices and also I would recommend that you make your meshes detailed enough um, to have a nice smooth transition in between the two, let me show you what I mean. So I will select both, I will grab the brush, B, delete and let's make a mesh like this. I have a guide on meshes if you are needing something like that. This will be good. So because I selected, I can confirm, because I selected both our art meshes, um, now I have like a huge uh, mesh going between both of our items. To save space in the texture we can select only object B for example and erase some of the extra, okay? You could technically leave it like that, but we are saving space in the mesh, in the texture like that. All right. Now, if I select them both, it might be a little bit hard to see, but the left mesh has green lines. The right one has red lines. And in the places where they share the mesh, it's kind of gray. So now, if I select both, you can either Ctrl A in this case and bind. As you can see, we have now little green boxes around some vertices. Those are the vertices that applied the glue. We could also Ctrl Z and only select the vertices that we want to be glued. The thing is that if you Ctrl A it will still glue the elements that you want because you need to select two vertices from two different objects to tell the glue to glue them together. If I select this vertex that is only on the left, right, is single and I try to glue it, it will tell me, please have two vertices because this is only one, I cannot glue it to anything. So, Ctrl A, bind, and we have our glue. If you want to unbind, you just select and unbind. Now, we can click OK. At this point, our two objects will be glued. Uh, we, we can see that by this little label, the yellow label that appears here, as well as the glue here into the parts. Now, if you move one of the two, you will see how the glue kind of worked, but we have a problem. Uh, let's say that this is an arm and I want it to rotate uh, here at the elbow. 
what is this? I don't want it to do this, right? It's weird. Um, so let me quickly create a parameter for this rotation so that we see how it works. Okay, now, if you want to fine-tune a little bit uh, this glue, you can click on either of the objects to uh, bring up the little glue label, click on it, and we will have all of the glue tools open. So, um, mostly these are to tune the uh, weight of the glue. Basically, right now, our vertices are hugging each other all at the same strength but for example here I would like my pink vertices to kind of stay more in their place and move a little bit less so it will create a more nice curve you see that same as here with the blue ones I would like these vertices here to stay in their place a little bit more so how can I do that this first tool is the one that you will be using the most. Now, this opacity of weight just simply adds these colors, so you can see the color of the two arm meshes and the yellow part. You can do the same as the brush, hold B and drag to have different sizes and weight here. So let me first show you. I like to keep this very uh, low for this reason. So. If I go here and I hold, as you can see, it's almost like I am painting this to kind of go back a little bit into their place. Basically, what, I, what I'm doing is I'm telling to life today, these three vertices will have more strength in this place. So when the movement happens, they will pull more than the pink ones and i can do the same on this other side but look if i just click what happens basically it's making the blue pull more here and i want the opposite when i want the opposite you just hold shift and it will do the opposite it's already starting to look better we might have a little bit of problem because um, we don't have enough vertices. I feel like we need more to make this more smooth. Um, let's try to make them even more detailed. So I will reset everything. Just unbind all of this. For division, select both of them, Control A, bind. Let's try again. Okay, now that we have reset, let's try to do it again. And why do I like the low weight? Let me show you if I put 100 weight. When I try to click, whoa, all of a sudden they all come here. Like when I click, zoom, and I don't want that. I want that to happen little by little so I can very have this nice smooth curve. So here I'm just clicking, here I'm left clicking and very slowly painting in my glue and do some more adjustment we can see how this is looking much better than before now um, what are the other tools for um, these two will actually move our vertices to detach from the other object. So in our case, do you see the colors changing when I click them? This is because my uh, red uh, object in this case is the blue guy and my green glue is on the pink one. So you cannot change this. Um, if I use this tool, you will see how my blue mesh is actually detaching. Now, it's actually detached. If I was to use the same tool also on the other side, look, it's detaching. At this point, it's like the glue is not there anymore, so why would I use this? Simply because, let's say that I wanted only one side attached and the other side not attached, I can use this tool uh, to create a nice smoothing. 
and when you want them to attach again simply grab this last tool and brush it here like this and now we need to adjust again because here it kind of broke um, here we go As you can see, this is just an example, but in this case, for example, we wanted only the lower side to be glued and the top side to be free. And like that, it's working just how we want it. Now that we have more or less learned how to use the glue tools, I want to show you some real actual examples on case uses on VTuber models that I have made. I am gonna show you three different ways of using glue. One is the simple one to connect two objects. Another one is to duplicate movements. Another one is to use things as pivots. There technically can be also different uses, such as, for example, making 3D objects in Life2D. Uh, but as you know, I always only explain techniques that I am very confident uh, in and I feel that I have mastered enough. So I will not be talking about that. If you want to dive into this type of rigging, I recommend you check out uh, Hamster Crowns that uh, is more skilled on that. So, this is a real model that I worked on. I want to show you um, some use of glue and maybe we can also remake it. So I will take off her uh, jacket. All right, here you can see a little bit of mess because she has a lot of arm toggles, but uh, let's see. Uh, if you have a lot of stuff on your model that is kind of preventing you to select the thing that you want to select, you can right click object at cursor and find the element that you want to find. Okay, here as we can see, I have my little glue for uh, moving the arm. It's a very good example on the glue to connect to two objects, but I can very quickly recreate it. So let me unbind this. And bind them again. So like this, the glue will be basically reset. Let me select the glue. And usually in order to tune your glue, you, you need to have a movement like this so you see how the, the glue behaves. So, like we said, I'm gonna very slowly drag this. Maybe I can increase this just a little bit. And I am slowly gonna make it so that this arm looks correct. Hold the shift in case the glue is not going the way that you want. And just like that, in seconds, we have an arm that works. Let's see on the other side, it works pretty fine. So this is a very simple example on how to make connecting glue like this. The second example to duplicate movements with glue uh, is especially useful when, for example, you have different versions of the same mesh. For example, in this case, I have both white hair and red hair. Technically, in this case, I didn't use the glue because I worked all of my bangs movement with deformers. So I could simply grab the same uh, hair and plop it in the same deformers and the movement is applied also to this hair. But in case, this, um, this theory is in case you don't have uh, deformers but your movement is directly binded to the mesh. For example, your iris. So in this case, I did glue the iris because we have our green one and our pink one. Let me unbind them and show how you can do this because it's a little bit different. Unbind and bind again. Okay. This case is different because I have my iris R that the green iris that is leading the movement and I want the pink iris to simply follow the movement. So all of the weight will be on the green eye, on the green iris. How I can do this is moving my eye to the side click on the little glue 
and check this weight again. Here I can put to 100%. Okay, you just need to paint it in. You might go, you might make it go in the wrong uh, side. So let's say that you had it like this and you're like, oh no, they are both following the moment of my pink iris. So you just remember, hold shift in case it's going in the wrong place. Move it. Hold on, we were here. And now, as we can see, it's going towards the movement that I want. So very simple like that. Remember, so when you want to duplicate the movement, just put the weight to 100, brush everything and make sure that they are following the movement of your base color and not the uh, alternate color that you're putting in. It's just as simple as that. The final case use, use case that we see today is the glue to pivot. So in this case, for example, I have this colored cloth that is going attached from the arm to the middle in the back. The problem that I had with this cloth is that I have all of my body movement, body Z, body X, body Y, hips Z, uh, uh, arm, elbow, hand, so many movements connected to this piece of cloth. I needed something to make sure that on this side of the cloth stays attached to the hand and on this side the cloth stays attached to the hips. How do I do this? This is more complex and I don't think I've ever seen specific tutorials about this. Let me show you how it works. In this case I use it two layers. One layer is inside of the hand and I call it pivot. As you can see it's in the wrist rotation deformer and my actual layer is in the hips deformer. Okay, these are my two layers. Now I am moving the pivot layer that is in the wrist deformer. So if there was not this glue, let me remove the glue so you see what I mean. Look what happens. The pivot is in the hand. So I can use this one to make this side of the cloth attached to the hand. And I bring back our glue. If you look at this, you might be able to see better. Basically, I have made it so that here it's all very strongly, the movement is very strongly lead by the hand. Here the movement is very strongly lead by the hip one and in between I have created a little bit of a gradient. Now that takes a little bit of patience and I spent some time to make this movement look just nice. So I'm gonna go back at how it was before so you can see better. So like this basically I have a hand pivot. And this uh, pivot actually is at 0% opacity because I don't need to see it. It's just there for me to use it with the glue, right? We don't need to see it. It's just dragging the other and pivoting the other layer uh, movement. Otherwise, if I didn't use glue in this case, I would have had uh, manually adjusted this cloth to work with one two, three, four, five, six, seven different layers. Uh, that's like incredibly complicated. So glue really saved my life in here. Now we have mostly seen everything about glue, but I have a couple of other tips, things to mention left very quickly. So um, when we are doing, when are we are using our glue for duplicate movement, <laughs> Let's say, for example, here, I have my nice little glue that makes my meshes here move around like that. But then I decided that I want an alternate color for my object B. So if I like copy paste it and it was, I don't know, green, because I need this to have a green toggle. Now I'm like, oh wow, this movement is not matching. So 
What can I do? In this case, I will need I will need two glues interacting with three objects. Let's see how we can do that. First of all, let's uh, glue our two green and blue uh, objects together. You can very simply control A, bind. Okay, make them move. Select your glue. Make sure that you're selecting the right one from here. Right now I need this one. Move this little guy and let's see. Okay, as we can see, like the fir uh, my first try was wrong because it's not it doesn't look like it's glued, so I need to go actually the opposite way. Like this. <clears throat> also, our green color will follow all of the movements of our blue guy. What the problem is in this case, sometimes you might find that the glue is not working like this. And it might be because of the hierarchy. Basically, in this case, our higher value glue is the one that keeps pink and blue together, right? This is leading the main movement and blue and green glue, the second glue that we made, is simply having green follow all of blue movements, regardless of what it does. So it's a lower value glue. So in case we had them opposite, so we need higher value glue, in this case, pink, blue, glue, object B, object A, we need it above because it's higher value. If it was under, we might have some problems, as you can see. Because what is it doing? It's saying, I am giving more importance to the green glue compared to the pink glue. But the pink glue is the one that I want as a main movement. Green only has to follow, so it needs to be under. As soon as I switch the places, as you can see, it's fixed. So also remember the glue as a hierarchy. Now, let's say that also you want to copy paste these elements. We can do that, right? But if you select them like this, you copy paste and you move them down, you will notice that the glue is not copy pasted. This is because when you copy paste objects, the glue is not automatically selected when you look at here. You need to also select the glue, copy paste, and when you move them, you will see that the glue has also copy pasted. One last thing that I want to talk to you, to you about is that glue also has an effectiveness that you can link to parameters. For example, I can select my glue here, make it active here, and compatibility to zero, for example. Now, it's almost like I have my glue on a toggle. Let me take off this green one for a second. Uh, it's almost as if I have my glue on a toggle. Hold on, I selected the wrong one. Here we go. I have it on a toggle. When this parameter is to one, it's not effective. When this parameter is on zero, it's effective. Why would you want to use this? For example, if you have a lot of arm toggles and you're using the same upper arm but a bunch of different lower arms, you can use toggles to make the glue attach, uh, detach from the default lower arm and attach to the toggle lower arm. Let me show you an example. All right, this was all. I think that this can be the ultimate glue, literally these are more or less, as of now, all of the uses that you would mostly use. Um, make sure to leave a like, a comment, follow me. Let me know if this guide was helpful for you. Um, if you want, you can also tell me what next tutorial you would like to see on this channel. And bye bye. Thank you for watching.